Welcome to this week's weekly update. This week we start with everyone's favorite topic, Medicaid. More specifically, the Governor's panel on whether or not to expand the Medicaid program in the state, which met on Thursday. Panel members debated several issues surrounding the possible expansion throughout the day, including keeping the current system with catastrophic and indigent care in place or reforming that care from within the state. But perhaps out of all the discussion on Thursday, the most surprising comment came from Brent Ranke, director of the Idaho Department of Correction. Rarely do you hear a bureaucrat come forward and be as blunt as Ranky was. He feels people will become comfortable living within the expansion of Medicaid and not trying to better themselves, saying, with this eligibility expansion, I can see a lot more of our population living within that new parameter and not trying to better themselves, not trying to get beyond Medicaid, but being very satisfied living in that box. Also this week, we reported on a new education rating for the state from the Center for Education Reform in Washington, D.C. The center has developed what it calls a Parent Power Index, which rates states on parents' ability to choose quality education for their children. Idaho comes in on the index at number 15, with an index score of 71%, which is pretty good. The index is rated from 0 to 100 and takes several things into account for the rating, including charter schools, online learning, teacher quality, school choice, and whether or not the governor for the respective state is pro-reform. Melissa McGrath, Communications Director for the Department of Education, says it's not surprising to see Idaho rated high in the index. We are proud of the many ways in which Idaho's education system now empowers parents and families to make the best educational choices for their children, she said. Finally, a study to determine North Idaho College's impact on the economy was released this week with some interesting findings. The study showed that the college's economic impact was $164.6 million, or 2.7%. NIC hired Economic Modeling Strategists International, a company based in Moscow, to look into the impact of the college on the region. EMSI looked at the school's value to students and taxpayers, as well as the school's economic impact on the area. That's it for this week's weekly update. Follow important policy news by visiting our website, liking us on Facebook, or following us on Twitter, at Idaho Reporter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.